Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a not so clean garage, but that's fine because we are getting dirty. That's gonna make more sense in just a minute. But today we are making a big 3D printed Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton. It's 2.5 times the original size of the model, which was a pretty big model to begin with. It measures just under 1.6 meters. And this is a model available for free. The two Ender 3s did a lot of the work, as well as the CR-10S with 0.5 millimeter nozzles at a 0.4 millimeter layer height. The PLA I use is a white, yellowish, it has a yellowish tone to it. And uh, well, that's how I printed all these parts. And the total printing time was 100 hours, approximately. Now, I wanna share my way of how I plan to make this project dirty. No, I wanna share my way of how I plan to make this T-Rex look way more realistic. And it doesn't necessarily have to take that much longer time. So, I'm just gonna grab a test subject here. Now, the first thing you do is you take a bunch of water on a pencil, put it out, and I have some acrylic brown. Now, what I do is I blend it with the water, a bunch of water and very little color. Now you just go over the entire, entire object. Now you can see it's mostly water at this point. It's just basically for the dirt to stick. Okay, a little bit more color wouldn't hurt. And this is a messy process, you're not gonna get around that. Now what I do when I have this fully soaked basically is that I take a piece of paper and I just dab on those haters. Uh, now you go out in the garden and pick up some dirt and you just start rubbing dirt all over the part. Yeah, that's pretty nice. This is all the parts that failed for whatever reason. I'm not gonna pretend like I got all of these pieces correct right away. There's definitely some throwaways. But I feel like I have the dirty side of things pretty dialed in, so I'm gonna apply the effect to all the remaining parts. So let's get started. Wait, this is what to be expected after prepping the parts? It low-key even looks like a murder scene, so just give me a second to clean this up. Now is the time to get excited. We are so close. We just have to assemble all the parts. And I would say that most of the parts, at least, did turn out beyond my expectations. The skull, I'm just in love with. And you, you do have to be careful with not mixing too much brown color with the water. Otherwise, you will see, you can probably see it in here. It, it, did, it did turn kind of reddish a couple of times. So I did have to go to the sink and, and wash it and redo it a couple of times before I found that magical ratio between brown and, and, and water to get that mix. Uh, but overall I think the, the, the coverage is just perfect. So th there's no point in me blabbing here around, I just want to get this assembled. And um, actually the connections are less than optimal. As you can see here, uh, they do stick together. Uh, but there is so much play, so I do want to glue it, and I'm just going to use 
I'm just gonna use the most generic kind of super glue. It sticks extremely well to PLA and uh, it's gonna make sure all the parts are actually actually locked in to each other. So, you know, there's no point in me going on here, so let's get started. I was excited from the beginning of this project, but now when it's done, it's just freaking incredible. Oh, a hundred hours printing, easy. Seven, eight, nine, maybe even 10 hours of painting and putting together, which there is some great documentation of how you put this together, which is, which is really quite fun. And before we do the big reveal, I just wanna say, you know I don't do this too often, but just a friendly reminder to subscribe to my channel if you do like the content that I make. So, here is the big reveal of the 3D printed T-Rex skeleton. Let's do it. In case anyone was wondering about the weight, it's 1.9 kilograms, roughly two rolls of filament equals $50. $50 worth of plastic. Just once again, I am so happy that I did take the time to make this project because it just turned out so much better than I expected. So. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, have an awesome day.